Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Landy, the Modern Mama, and I am here to review a bag that I've had my eye on for a while from Petunia Pickle Bottom. One of my very first backpacks was the boxy backpack from them, and I still love it, but I saw this Provisions backpack the other day, and I just had to grab it and see what it was all about. So today we are gonna be reviewing this. If you're new here, my name is Landy. I am the Modern Mama. I review diaper bags, talk about parent tips and tricks, and just general parenthood and how to make your life easier on the go with little ones. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing or hit that thumbs up and give me a like on this video as it really helps my channel. So getting into this backpack, again, this is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Provisions 2-in-1 Backpack. And it's a super cool backpack because it's got a intermix system that does not come with the backpack, but that fits in the bottom. So I'll get to that and show you, um, but this is a really cool, a faux leather bag that's got a lot of neat little compartments, so let's hop right into it. On the front here, you'll see that it's got a zipper compartment and it is insulated. It goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, so this would be a great spot to keep your wallet, keep your phone, or just keep quick things like wipes or whatnot. It has a D-ring right here if you wanna hook a pacifier or a small toy or your keys even. Then it's got a little magnetic closure pocket right here in the front and it gets pretty wide and it um, also goes to the bottom of the bag and it is fully insulated as is this front zipper pocket as well. So a great spot to put snacks if you're trying to keep something cool or warm. Um, so that's pretty neat and it's a pretty deep all the way to the bottom pocket. It's got these elastic sides so that pocket can stretch out nice and wide so you can put something pretty big in there if you needed to. Petunia Pickle Bottom hardware in gold, really beautiful color. I don't remember the exact name of this color backpack, but I will post it, but it's kind of like a, a light gray, but a warm gray. So definitely warmer tones rather than cooler tones. On the sides, you've got another elastic um, bottle pocket that is insulated as well. And on this side, this is where it gets really cool because like I said, this little thing that goes in here does not, it's not included, but it is something that is really worth the investment. So it's kind of a little garage and it pulls down and then you pull out this, um, what's this called? The intermix system. So this comes with a bunch of accessories. It is separate than the backpack, like I mentioned, but it is really cool and I'll get into why in a second. That whole thing fits right down in here and this is insulated as well. So this can keep bottles, pumping parts, pumping supplies, all that good stuff, but also things that you don't particularly need like quickly, like changes of clothes or extra snacks or things like that that you really don't think you probably will need. It's kind of nice to put them up in there and close it. Or if you're using this as a mom bag, you can put shoes down there too, which is pretty nice. So this zips up and then this part little tucks under and that's closed. So going to the back of the bag, you've got some nice padded backpack straps with some breathable material on the back. You've got a seatbelt strap strap hook for um, putting a trolley sleeve for putting on your luggage if you're traveling with this. You've got two D-rings on the top to put stroller hooks. And then you also have this little grab handle here on the very top. On the back of the backpack, you've got another zipper compartment and that goes all the way to the back of the bag. And this is a great padded laptop sleeve or iPad or things like if you wanna put your stuff back here and the baby stuff at the front, then that's a great pocket for that. Nice smooth zippers. And then going to the main compartment of the bag, opens up nice and wide. It does come with a change pad. And then you've got two elastic slip pockets on the back. And that's about it for the interior storage. It's not super deep, so I might have to get over my overpacking stage. Um, but we're gonna try to pack this up and figure out a way to make it work and see what this thing is all about. So that is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Provisions 2-in-1 system. Really, really nice bag. Now I'm gonna tell you more about the, uh, what is this thing called again? The Intermix system, the Deluxe Kit Intermix system. So I'm gonna tell you more about that now. Okay, so talking more about Petunia Pickle Bottoms Intermix System. This is their deluxe kit. This is a super, super cool accessory to have. 
whether you're putting it in a diaper bag or not, it has so many multifunctions and it's just really neat. It does fit into the bottom of the Petunia Pickle Bag. Oh, sorry. The Petunia Pickle Bottom Provisions Backpack slides right in. And I think it does fit in a few other of their diaper bags too at the bottom. So that's really neat. Um, and then also you can use this as a stroller caddy, which is like mind blowing. So awesome. It's got two D rings here on the side. So you can either hold it like this if you're just running out of the house and want something easy to pick up and you don't have to bring a lot, or you can hook these to your stroller. So super cool. Um, another thing that I think is pretty awesome is if you are traveling and using this provisions backpack, you can put this in the bottom and use it in your diaper bag. And then when you get to your destination, you can take this out and either use this as a diaper caddy on the table that you're gonna be changing your baby, kind of you know make a while you're traveling diaper caddy or you can hook this to your stroller and then have a diaper caddy that's kind of put out of the way and then when you get to your destination pop this on your stroller and then you've got it for traveling so super cool right now they're not full so it, they kind of look a little silly but I'll, I'll fill them up and show you again but basically the whole thing is machine washable awesome then it's got all of these little like packing cubes that it comes with so these these do come in the system you've got two of these smaller size ones then you've got one large one in the middle. Insulated, of course. And then one kind of medium sized one that comes right here on the end. So they all have a uh, little strap on the side that you can pull them out easily. And then if you're using it as a diaper caddy or a stroller caddy, then you could take all those things out and then you know have it just empty like this and easy to put your stuff in i don't think these come out yeah they these don't come off so these compartments have to stay as is but you know you could put diapers right here and wipes and your uh rash cream and any kind of little accessories right here so super neat system and of course the fact that it's machine washable is even better machine washable so let's pack all this up i'm going to pack up the diaper bag and show you what it looks like all packed up okay it's now the next day because I ran out of daylight and my kids and bedtime and all that, which you understand and get, but I've got this all packed up and all I've got to say is, wow, this is a big kahuna backpack. Like this is an overpacker's dream. If you pack lightly, you definitely don't need this backpack, but, um, lots of pros, few cons, but we're going to jump right into that. So starting in the front, I've got my keep going mini go kit. This is an awesome first aid kit that's full of little necessities when you're on the go from first for first aid um, and really great for little scraped knees and boo-boos like that. My arm and hammer little baggies for throwing away poopy diapers or wet clothes. We've got the front pocket which we talked about that is insulated and in here this is one con. There's not a lot of organization and it's a pretty big pocket so I kind of like when there's like a mommy pocket um, but in here I've got just a little handheld fan. It is literally, we had record day yesterday of 108 here in Houston, crazy. Um, and then I've got my clip a bag hook, like if we're in a public bathroom and there's no hook to put my bag on. A Benadryl itch stick, some lip products, a rubber band. And then these, which are so great, like if your kid is sitting in a high chair or on the car seat, to hook a toy onto this and then to the other end of the high chair or whatever, and that way they're not dropping it on the floor all the time. So this is just a big empty pocket, so I don't really like that all of this is thrown in here, um, but is what it is. Some baby bum hand sanitizer, it's my favorite. Dreft stain stick, a tied to go stain stick, my favorite chapstick, and then my son's chapstick. So just big empty pocket that everything's kind of thrown into, which I don't love in terms of organization, but that is what is in there. Then in this front pocket, we've got some wet ones, some of these mosquito repellent stickers that are great that you can stick on the back of your kid's shirt. And then this Orchid Hearts, um, these are the boogie wipes just for their noses. So that's a good place for wipes and it's got a nice little magnet. And then on the side right here, I've got my daughter's bottle ready to go with water. On this side is where the garage is for the pixel, but we'll start in the inside first. So as I mentioned, it's not very big in here, but what we've got going is 
diapers in this back pocket and then wipes in this other back pocket. We've got Lucy's formula container just standing right here on the side. Let's see if I can do like that. Then in here, I've got um, from Target, I'm sure you're seeing these all over the place there. They've gone viral. Um, this is $3.99 from Target, a pencil box. And I put Gentry's name on it with my Cricut machine. And in here, this is all for potty training. So we've got little toilet seat covers, Clorox wipes, wet ones, bribery candy, and then a couple pull-ups just in case there's an accident. And then lastly, a small Lily Jade packing case with snacks. So these are things that I'm going to very quickly, and which is why I put them in here. Snacks, formula, and potty essentials um, for both toddler and diapering essentials for baby. So that is what's in the main pocket. Then in this back pocket, flip it around. Um, this is great for iPads and whatnot, but I don't really bring my iPad on a normal basis. So in here, I've got um, some teething toys for Lucy, some cars for Gentry, um, just little odds and ends. Then these really cool guys, they stick on the table and then you can like stretch them out and stuff and keeps them entertained. So this is really like if we're at a restaurant and we need some entertainment. A couple little Crayolas. This is one of Gentry's new favorite things. Um, it's one of those little LED writing boards, so that's nice because then there's no pins involved. A little play pack. And then this is really cool. I can't remember where I saw this. It was on TikTok, I think, and I'll link it below, but you trace your finger and it's supposed to be really good for like hand-eye coordination and they're double-sided and Gentry's really into them. And then lastly, down at the bottom is the change pad. So nothing else down there. And then going to the garage on the side. Let's pull this baby out. So something that I learned while I was packing this up is I was thinking, man, it doesn't come with stroller hooks. Like that's weird. Well, it's because they're integrated. So basically you unstrap from the bottom, these little straps, and then you hook using the D-ring onto your stroller. Super cool. And then you just strap back on when you load it back in. Very neat. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is super cool. Lots of multi-use, but one of the neatest things is that it can be a stroller caddy or a diaper caddy when you're traveling. So you can fill this up with diapering needs when you're traveling and need you know just a little bit of organization when you're changing your, your babies. Or as a stroller caddy, um, you know, just hooking from your stroller. So it comes with all these little packing cube pieces. And in this first one, I've got um, medication, first aid, um, a little windy Frida thing, and a thermometer. In this second one, I have a change of clothes for my daughter who is seven months, an extra bib, an extra, um, burp cloth and a onesie. We don't need socks because it's a million degrees. Um, okay, and that one pops back in. And then in this middle one, which is insulated, so great for snacks. Come on, there we go. Um, I've got my restaurant essentials. So I've got toddler silverware, some reusable um, Go Silly straws, and then a couple spoons for my daughter, some throwaway placemats, and also at the very bottom, some disposable stick-on placemats. Um, I'm sorry, I meant to say earlier, disposable bibs, and then the throwaway placemats. And then uh, this last side cube, I've got a change of clothes for my son. So since we are potty training, we've got underwear, socks, t-shirt, and shorts. So I'll keep these down here because they're not really items that I'm going to very often. So that's why I chose to put extra clothes and restaurant needs down in the bottom. Now, as I mentioned too, you can use this garage for um, pumping parts. So you can put your pump in here and it is insulated. So, you know, you can keep a couple freezer packs in there and have your milk after you pump. And then this baby fits right in. And the other thing that I do like is that when this isn't full, this is still sitting up perfectly strong and sturdy. It's not collapsing on itself, which is really nice. So you just pop this baby back in. 
You can also put like a pair of shoes in here if you're traveling and then it just closes like that. So overall, I do really like it. I think it's nice. The color is beautiful. It would, would go really well with anything. It would go for boy or girl, which is why I grabbed this color. Um, I don't like that there's not a lot of organization in these front pockets, but other than that, I fit so much more than I thought I was going to in this backpack. And I'm gonna carry it for a couple days, see what I think, and I'll let y'all know. But if you have this backpack, what do you like to use it best for? Do you like it best for travel, everyday use? Are you a pumping mom, so you use it for pumping? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.